Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we start designing our hardware and software systems, we have to install Xilinx Vivado. And in this video, we are going to be checking how we can install Xilinx Vivado on Windows operating system. I will explain it step by step. So in case you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will try to help you. We can start by going to Google and type Xilinx Vivado download and in the first in the first result will show you from where we can download Xilinx Vivado. So click on the download button and it will lead you to the Vivado download page. We are going to be installing Xilinx Vivado 2019.1 and if you click on Vivado archive you will be able to find this version and you just click on uh, 2019.1 and it will show you from where we can download the Xilinx Vivado. So you scroll all the way down and there you can see that we have this link with which we can install um, Xilinx Vivado on Windows. In order to download Xilinx Vivado, you have to make an account with Xilinx and if you don't have an account, you can click on create account and follow the steps and you will be able to create the account quite easily. And once you create the account, you come back and you insert your credentials, your email address and password. And only then you will be able to download Xilinx Vivado from the website. I already have an account with Xilinx, so I will put my credentials. When you click on the download button, you will see that there is a file started downloading. Yeah, just double just just double click on this file so that we can start installing Xilinx Vivado. So here it is asking us again our email ID and password. Your user ID is your email with which we have created an account with Xilinx and with password is the same uh, the password you use to log into your Xilinx account. So here you have different editions of Vivado. With Vivado HL Design Edition, you will be able to do everything with Ultra 96. You will be able to program your Ultra 96 board and also will be able to write softwares on it. On this page, we have seen that we have a lot of different options. Design tools, devices, installation options. So we see that the design tools, we absolutely need Vivado Design Suite, which is Vivado. We also definitely need software development kit SDK, SDK core tools and compiler tools. If you are installing Vivado for the first time and if you are really a beginner, I will suggest you to uh, I will suggest you to keep all the options and click next. But if you are a little bit more experienced and you know which devices do you have with you, which devices you would like to keep because we don't need all of the devices because the more devices we will select the more disk space we are going to be needing so in order to save some disk space i'm going to be keeping only the devices which i'm going to be working on so this is why i'm selecting very few options but as i said if you are a beginner i will suggest you to just keep all the options so that you don't make any mistake so I mainly work with Zinc UltraScale Plus MPSOC and Vertex UltraScale Plus devices. So this is why you can see that I'm only keeping these two devices because most of my designs will be in the UltraScale Plus uh, family of uh, FPGAs. The installation options, you should definitely check all of them because it will install cable drivers, DocNav. DocNav is documentation navigator. I also uncheck this because all the documentation of Xilinx is already available on the internet and they are continuously updating their user guides and product guides and user manuals. So this is why I don't want to install it on my PC locally because I would like to access the latest files on the web and this is why I can also uncheck this option. 
but if you would like to have the documentation of all the user guides and product guides locally available on your PC, you can check this option. And you can specify the location here where you would like to install Xilinx and just click install. So it's gonna take some time because first it will download all the files and then it will start installing. So our installation has completed. You can just click OK and you can close this license manager. And now you are good to go. So we can start the Vivado. So yeah, here it is. The Vivado has installed. So the license voucher that you get from Ultra 96 port, this is for Xilinx SDSOC environment. But if you would like to use Vivado and SDK with Ultra 96 board, you don't need to do anything with license generation or something. But if you are using any other boards, for example, Zinc ZCU102 or uh, Ultrascale VCU118, so you might receive some uh, Xilinx Vivado licenses. Uh, and for that, you have to go to the Xilinx website and generate the license for your um, for your specific FPGA but we have Ultra 96 here and for that we can just get started with it so if you click on create project so we don't have to specify any sources at this time click next if you have a look we don't have any Ultra 96 version 2 board listed here. We only see boards which are Vertex Ultra Scale Plus, VCU 118, ZCU 102, ZCU 104. And if you see in the vendor column, they are all by Xilinx. And Ultra 96 board is by Avnet. So that means we have to do some additional step. And that additional step means adding the board definition files uh, in the Vivado folders so that our board also starts showing here. I will also put this link in this video description so you can also have a look at there. So you can see that this repository has files of different boards by Avnet and we can also see Ultra 96 version 2 board here. So we can download this repository. We can extract this file. If we look into this folder, these are all the board definition files. So we have to copy these files from this folder and paste it into the Xilinx folder. We have to go to the location where Xilinx is installed. So click on Vivado and then yes, data, boards, board files and and this is the location where we have to paste all the board definition files. You can see that there are some uh, boards listed here which were installed by default and we can paste our uh, new board definition files here as well. And yeah, that's it. Now we can open the Vivado again. Click on create project. Specify the project location and write the project name click on the boards and now you can see that we have whole lot of different options we now have the boards from the avnet as well so we can see that ultra 96 v2 single board computer we can click on this well that's it uh, you have now set up vivado and now you can start designing your hardware and software for the ultra 96 version 2 uh, FPGA. So that is it from this video. We have successfully installed the Vivado and we have also copied the desired board definition files for our Ultra 96 board. And in the next video, we are going to be making our first block diagram and we are going to be running our first Hello World program. So stick around and we'll see each other in the next video.